Assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Tawhidul Islam and Adiba Hamman. Thank you, Professor Nazi Hamid, to give us this opportunity to present. Our topic is gender discrimination. Gender discrimination, gender, uh, gender inequity, or in other words, gender discrimination refers to unfair rights between male and female based on different gender roles, which leads to unequal treatment in life. Um, as a matter of fact, gender discrimination has made a big argument in society that about whether the equity among genders should be encouraged or not. Gender discrimination in <coughs> or, uh, gender discrimination or inequity at workplace. Gender discrimination in employment involves treating someone unfavorably because of the person's gender whether they are applying for a job or a current employee. Workplace uh, discrimination comes in many different forms, but uh, generally it means that an employee or um, job applicant is treated differently or less favorably because of their gender. Some example, uh, examples of treatment that could be gender discrimination include not being hired. Often it happens in different organizations that they don't hire a person evaluating their gender. Number two, being given a lower paying position. For example, when an employee refuses to hire women or only hires women for certain job, even though she has potential for a better position. Number three, being evaluated more harshly. For example, if a worker who identifies as uh, a woman receives a negative performance evaluation that criticizes her for being too aggressive, for um, on the contrary, men who behave the same way are praised for showing leadership. Number four, being less paid. When a person of a different gender who is less uh, qualified or who has uh, similar or fewer job duties but gets more salary than you. Number five, being uh, de uh, declined a promotion or training opportunity. That is when people of different gender uh, who are equally or less qualified or eligible as you get promoted or enjoy training facilities. Gender pay gap is the result of many factors, including gender, age, race, and ethnicity, uh, disability, and access to education. As a result, different groups of people experiences very uh, different gaps in pay, especially women face this situation often in their lives. According to some research, we have found that um, female workers getting paid less than the male workers. Average woman worker loses more than $530,000 in her life, where a average uh, college-educated woman loses more than nearly $800,000 in her life. Women are promoted to managerial positions. Men are um, significantly more likely to be promoted to supervisory or uh, managerial positions. Very few women have the opportunity to be promoted to CEO. Women represent only 20% of um, se uh, senior vice president roles, the roles that the naturally lead to executive position. Female employees aren't in managerial positions. They lack, uh, they lack access to the mentors and opportunities that could help them advance in their careers. Thank you and that's my part. Uh, now Adiba will continue from here. Thank you, Tahibu. Harassment and bullying at workplace. What is workplace bullying? Bullying 
bullying is actually seen as an act or verbally verbal comments that psychologically or mentally could hurt or isolate a person in the workplace. Sometimes negative or physical unwanted contacts can be also involved as bullying. So what is workplace harassment? Workplace harassment is the belittling or threatening behavior at an individual worker or a group of workers. Workplace harassment and bullying. First is name calling. That is calling your colleague or any other co-worker without uh, with uh, different different kinds of names. You can say abusive names. The or humiliating your co-worker or your colleague in front of uh, everyone personal attack you might be thinking that's a joke or you are just attacking someone with the, telling them about their personal life or pers belittling them in front of the other people but that's really that's hurting the other person that's also a kind of bullying offensive jokes you um, being a co-worker or a colleague, you might be thinking, okay, um, that's a joke for him or her, but that that joke, which might be an offensive joke, might hurt the other person. Unwanted physical contact, one of the most important harassment you can say. That you just can't touch a girl or a boy without their permission. If the person is not comfortable, you are not allowed to touch that person. Threatening by abusive calls, messages, emails, and letters. Uh, being a boss or a co-worker, if you're asking a girl for a date and the girl denies for it, you can't just threat that person and you can say, you have to go or else I will, you have to leave the job. I'll make sure you get, I'll make sure you get out of the job. That's not how it works. You are not allowed to do it. Next slide. How does it impact the organization? It reduces the productivity and efficiency. When someone is being harassed or bullied, that person gets stressed. That person is not, they just can't uh, put their mind on the work. So they just, they can't do the work efficiently and it reduces the productivity. For being stressed, they, they don't feel like coming to the work, uh, coming to work. That's, so it increases the absenteeism as well. When you are not safe, uh, when you are being bullied, when you are being harassed, you are not safe in that environment. And when you are not safe, you uh, if a un work environment is not safe, then also you can't work. And it does create problem for your productivity and efficiency as well. Uh, now, what actions should be taken? Uh, the victim can talk to the manager, victim can talk to the CEO, victim can talk to the HR staff. And for like, for example, if you, uh, if some of your coworkers are talking, and, uh, if there's anyone bullying you or harassing you, and you might, they might be thinking that they're doing a joke, but that's actually not a joke. If you, if the situation gets out of control, just walk from it. If you don't want to create any sin, just walk from that situation. Now, what can you do? One thing you can do is be self-aware, never support the wrong, never let anyone do wrong to you, always help the victim. Maybe you are not the one, maybe your friend is being bullied by other friend or coworker is being bullied by other coworker. Stand for him, stand for her. Don't allow, the, allow them to bully or harass anyone. You first let be the change. You just say no to harassment and bullying so that people can learn from you and they can stop our husband and bullying. Thank you so much. This is it. Thank you for your patience and listening to our presentation.